Apple recently launched a new Quick Notes feature in iOS and macOS, which allows you to jot down reminders, information, draw stick figures, or even pictures and links from anywhere in the system and on a whim. And in this video, I have such a simple yet powerful tip for you, because not only will I show you how to use Quick Notes, but also how to maximize their functionality by turning them into digital post-its that sync across iPhone, iPad, and Mac. What's up, people? Lance Samosa here, the guy with the one tech mind. Today, we're talking about how I use the new Quick Notes functionality to keep action items and other important information in front of me at all times, no matter what Apple device I'm using. To preface this, go into your settings, Apple ID, iCloud, and make sure Notes is turned on so any Quick Notes created on your iPad, Mac, or iPhone will sync across your devices. Now, to create a Quick Note on iPad OS 15, swipe diagonally from the bottom right corner with your finger or Apple Pencil. By default, you will see the last quick note you had open, and you can easily swipe between them. Tap the four little notes to view all of them in the dedicated Quick Notes folder. Tap the three dots to share or delete, and create a new quick note with the button on the top right. If you would rather be able to start writing or typing a new quick note as soon as you bring the feature up, you can change this by going into Settings, Notes, and deselecting resume last quick note. This is what I have done just to speed up the act of jotting things down with lightning speed. And for those of you that love keyboard shortcuts just like me, here's a pro tip. Instead of swiping from the bottom right corner, you can even press globe Q to bring up quick notes at any time for even faster access. From here, you can type, swipe, or scribble away using your keyboard, finger, or Apple Pencil and all the familiar markup tools. And if you happen to be in an app with linkable content like Safari or Notes, you can tap once to add a direct link into the note for easy access later. This even works with some third-party apps like Bear Notes or adding a link to a Reddit post using the Apollo app. And as with all notes, you can drag and drop pictures, files, and other stuff, making for an easy way to embed rich content on the fly. The interface can even be moved around or anchored off screen, just like picture-in-picture -picture video, in case you need to focus for a minute or switch apps and easily come back to Quick Notes. All of this is pretty similar on macOS Monterey, which is required for Quick Notes. Just drag the cursor into the bottom right corner with a little bit of force to bring up Quick Note, or use that same globe plus Q shortcut. You'll see the interface is very similar to iPad, but it functions differently and is arguably a worse experience in my opinion. For example, you can only start a new note in this interface by unchecking resume last Quick Note under Notes Preferences. If you leave this checked, you will only be able to see the last note you created and you'll have to manually open the full-blown notes app to create something new and see your other notes. On the flip side, there are a couple additional formatting options on Mac, like creating a quick list or a table. Otherwise, you will still have similar sharing and drag and drop capabilities, like adding a link through Safari. Alternatively, you can click the share button in Safari followed by add to quick note. As for the poor iPhone, sadly, it doesn't have any ability to create or view quick notes on a whim. So you will have to go into the notes app and do it manually, or use something like a Siri shortcut to help with the process. I will drop links to a couple simple shortcuts I created that will help you with this on iPhone in the description down below. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick Notes is mostly cool, even though it doesn't work exactly the same across Apple's three main platforms. But thankfully, there are two features that do, which enables you to use them like digital Post-its, iCloud syncing, and widgets. That's right, my friend, widgets. But first, if you're finding this video helpful, please consider giving it the old thumbs up, subscribing to help me build the most obsessed Apple community on YouTube, and ringing that bell so you don't miss anything else. If you are like me and forget to do things unless they are directly in front of you, this system I'm going to talk about has helped me stay on top of my to-dos or reminders with the digital equivalent of jotting something down on a sticky note and attaching it to my monitor. Because I'm pretty sure the Apple design team would show up at my house if I tried to put real sticky notes on my iPad. So here's how it works. Say you're in a meeting and your boss gives you yet another action item on your already full plate. Instead of reaching for the old pen and paper, I just grab my iPad mini, bring up quick notes and jot down what I need to do in barely legible handwriting that I will inevitably have to rewrite later. Of course, you can type instead. I just happen to prefer using the pencil to write this kind of stuff down. Now here's where the real magic comes into play. I set up a home screen notes widget on my iPads mini and pro iPhone and Mac to only display Quick Notes. So in between trips to Twitter and Reddit, no matter what device I'm using throughout the day, I will constantly be reminded about things I need to do without even trying, which is exactly what I need. It's like past Lance looking out for future Lance, and that makes me feel good. 
And the system usually does a pretty good job at handwriting recognition, so I can at least infer whatever the heck it was that I wrote. This works wonders for my one tech mind and work style, and setting up the widget couldn't be simpler. From your iPad and iPhone home screen, first go into jiggle mode, tap the plus in the top left, then scroll down to select notes. Choose one of the folder widget sizes that works for you and tap add widget. Then tap on the widget, select the quick notes folder from the list, position it where you like it, and you're done. On my iPhone to preserve space, I've even thrown them into a widget stack with my calendar and reminders and smart rotate on, so I really won't miss anything. And on macOS, you'll just need to go into Notification Center and click Edit Widgets to get going. The rest of the process for adding it is almost identical. And there you have it. Quick Notes will then auto-magically, as Steve used to say, sync and appear on all your home screens. Look, I am terrible when it comes to identifying systems I want to engage with to keep myself productive, which honestly might say more about me than the systems itself. But in any case, these digital post-its require so little effort for such a large reward, and that is what makes it so compelling. So let me know how you use Quick Notes down in the comments below and what you thought about this video. And I'd love to hear how you are using maybe other systems to keep yourself productive on Apple's platforms because I definitely need all the help I can get. And until next time, thanks for listening to my One Tech Mind. 